Hello, everyone. This is the imperishable Sammy Zenith. Um, I'm just, uh, currently at home with my, uh, dog Ginger, my lovely dog Ginger, who, uh, won't leave me alone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just felt like continuing my Odyssey playthrough since, um, some of you seemed interested in me doing that, and I just, I just felt like, you know, why not? I'm, I'm having fun here. You know, doing it, uh, do, doing it again recently, the Odyssey playthrough, remind me of how, like, much I actually had fun doing this playthrough. And just playing this game in general. So, it's like, why, why stop? Okay, how do I break this? I forget. Um, let's see. Come on. Oh, okay. Guess I just had to bash it around a lot. Kind of figured. Alright, um, so yeah, we're just going to be doing the Wooded Kingdom today. I think that sounds good to me. I know about you guys. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can get a new outfit with all the coins I collected. Um... Let's see here. That seems cool. Let's see, mechanic outfit. Employee. Oh. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know. I guess mechanic outfit would be cool. Might as well get the hat for it as well. You're welcome for the coins. Please come again and buy things. We shall see. Nice. Oh, fit for the Indy 500. You know, like... One of those guys who, like, changed the tires really fast or something like that. Okay, let's answer one of his riddles. What does he want from this kingdom? Uh, I don't know. Has it shown that yet? I forget. I would assume flowers. Yeah, because it seems logical for a wedding, so. Oh, that's it. That was the only question. Sweet. All right. Oh, okay. I forgot that was like the only way to like progress through the world. Huh. All right. Yeah, sorry. It's been a little while since I played this game. Oh, here we have the music that fills you with a grand sense of wonder. Just leave that poison to me. Uh, oh. Wow. Um, but yeah, let's see. What have I been up to today? I have, um, what I do today? Well, besides, I went to work and I also went to the gym. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, I watched, um, WandaVision, the first two episodes of it. Um, it's really good. I like the, um, old-fashioned aesthetic they're going for, like, making it, um, inspired by I Love Lucy. I just think that's kind of, um, you know, cool, um, and, but obviously they have their own little twist on it, since it's, you know, uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision, so, I, I mean, yeah, but, um, really intrigued to see what is going on, uh, there, like, what, what is happening with, uh, Wanda and, uh, Vision, of course. I, I mean, the latter shouldn't even be alive, but, but, uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil too much about that, of course. Um, I, I highly recommend you go watch it. Um, what else have I been watching lately? Um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I've been watching that. I'm currently on Stardust Crusaders. And, um... 
yeah, I'm liking it. I, uh, I, I watched the episode today, um, where it, it was like the orangutan on the, on the ship. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really liking the concept of stands. Um, I'm really liking the series as a whole, of course. Um, great sense of comedy and, of course, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for like, you know, action-based anime, you know, like, mar martial arts and stuff like that. Well, it's, yeah, JoJo's has, like, martial arts and stuff like that, but not exact, not quite the same as, like, um, what's in Dragon Ball, you know, it's, they have, like, different, um, they, they have, like, different, uh, concepts for that, like, a hormone energy, and, like I said, also stands, and it's kind of cool, and also I like, you know, I like how they have it focus on the JoJo's, like, across different generations, because, you know, it, it's, that's kind of like a, a family nickname, you know, like, that, that nickname has sort of been passed down to uh, various different descendants of the Joestar family, but, um, yeah, there's, so far there's been three uh, JoJo's that I've been familiarized with. There's, of course, um, there's Joseph, he was the main character for, like, the second part of the first season, and then there's Jonathan, he was the, like, original JoJo from the first part of the first season and then uh currently or currently as in what the series is uh currently on for me um is Jotaro and um I'm liking all their different personalities um of course Jotaro is like a bit uh you know he ha he he acts sort of like edgy I guess and I I know it's it's kind of, kind of funny to see uh just him interacting with <laughs> different characters like he's he's apparently um like apparently a lot of women find him attractive but he just doesn't care. <laughs> I like that. Um and then uh you have Joseph Joestar. He's he's kind of like you know He's a lot, he's a, he's a lot more, like, um, comedic than the other Jodo, Jojo's, like, he's, he's, he's a lot wittier and more sarcastic, and, um, uh, and then Jonathan, he's, he's sort of, like, he's sort of, like, the most noble one, I guess it's sort, sort of just because of his upbringing, mostly, but, uh, you know, he's very... He's very much, like, more polite than the other two, so... I, I like seeing all the, um, different JoJo's and, you know... I'm interested to see how they continue to play off of that, like, how they continue... The Joestar family, uh... Bloodline with different JoJo's and whatnot, and... Um... Yeah, obviously don't spoil it for me in the comments, I know... Um, you know, it's a popular series that a lot of people have watched, but, um, you know, I, I, I'm not trying to spoil much of it for myself, so, yeah, um, yeah, and then, uh, I really like, I really like Dio a lot as an antagonist, like, just as a villain, um, at, like, what, when I first started watching the series, I thought he was kind of, like, funny, just... It, it, it was... It, sometimes it's just kind of funny watching, like, someone being cruel to another person for, like, literally no reason. But as the seri series progressed, he definitely got a lot more imitating. And now he's, like, back as the villain of Stardust Crusaders, which I find interesting. It's, like, uh uniting the old with the new, um, almost. And, um, I also thought the Pillarmen were 
um, interesting. Uh, at first, I didn't like them that much. I thought they were a bit lacking in personality, but um, you know, as as we got to, they got a bit more screen time. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? Actually, they are pretty interesting. I I'm liking I'm liking the series a lot so far. Let, let's let's just put it that way. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to watch more and um, let you guys know my thoughts. Uh, I don't know if I'll do like a full-fledged review of it on my channel because one, you guys know how inconsistent I am with my uploads, and two, um, I just uh... oh yeah, let's ha oh neat. I don't see the point of this, but uh, I'm gonna hop out of this piranha plant. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. Um, I don't know if I'll do a full-fledged review on my channel, but, um, you know, because I feel like other people might have done that better than me. Like, um, actually, just recently, an, a YouTuber known as Totally Not Mark, who usually reviews, like, Dragon Ball, he started, he started um, reviewing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure as well. Um, so, that's interesting, of course. Uh, yeah, I, a, a lot of people are surprised by it, um, when I, like, talk about other t YouTubers, but it's like, yeah, I watch a lot of other YouTubers. Like, I, like, my YouTube channel isn't the only one I care about, <laughs> of course, so. In fact, like, a lot of my old, in a lot of my old videos, I kind of just got inspiration from other YouTubers, so. That's, like, yeah, that's, like, usually how it goes, really. Like, if you think about it, there is no such thing as a completely original idea. Um, I forget who came up with that quote, though. But, anyways, uh, let's try to go over this way first. Forget if I've been over here. Um, but, yeah, I like, I've been liking seeing all the different things stands um <laughs> it's funny i was watching it while i was at the gym earlier and i just started cracking up when um jotaro uh revealed the identity of that um ship captain who wasn't the real captain i i just thought it was so funny because uh you know he's his like demeanor totally changed and i i i just i just find that stuff funny like, I can tell JoJo's tries to be, like, cheesy at times, and I, I, I love that sort of comedy. I, I know about you guys, um, but, uh, yeah, I'm loving the show a lot so far, and I have, a, um, other friends who are into, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure as well, and it's cool, because, uh, you know, it gives me something else to talk to them about, because... I feel like a lot of the time, like, when I'm around my friends, they do most of the talking. I'm just like, oh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. You know, I'm not, I'm not, like, very, uh, ah, dang it. No, I'm not very conversational. Um, I mean, it's easier right now because I'm basically just talking to myself. Um, that's not, like, I mean, yeah, I'm sort of talking to an audience, but... I'm also just talking to myself, which, uh, I do that a lot, so, <laughs> I, kind of embarrassing to admit, but it's true, like, I'm, I don't know if I told you guys already, but I'm like a pizza delivery driver, so I'll just be by myself in my car a lot, so I, I, talking to myself is a good way to, like, uh, fill the silence, um, because I don't really like to have such stuff playing on my radio. Um, a lot of the stuff that plays on the radio, I don't like that much. I don't, I don't have much radio stations in my car. Um, but, um, yeah, on... What was I saying? Um, yeah, uh, so, like, you guys know how inconsistent I am with my uploads. So, I don't think I do a full review of JoJo's, but, um, believe it or not, I have a lot of, like, ideas for videos. Um, I just don't really, like, uh, I just, I just, you know, get in these funks where I'm just, like, 
used to not making videos, you know? It's got nothing to do with, like, uh, you know. Like, I, I made a video, uh, several years ago where I was saying, like, oh, I'm battling depression right now. I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself depressed anymore. That was just a phase, but, um, you know, it, it still, it's like, it, it's just like when you get out of the habit of doing something and, you know, you got other things going on in life. It's just hard to remember, but I'm sort of, I've been more consistent lately with my uploads. I'm sort of getting back into it, um, a bit with the uploading of new videos, so... You never know, this might be like a legit Sammy Renaissance or, uh, who knows. <laughs> I'm not promising anything, sorry. Uh, but I have plenty of ideas for videos, that's not the issue. Um, <clears throat> you know, even like beyond this, Mario Odyssey, there are so many other games I could do playthroughs of. Um, it's not even funny. Like, I could do playthroughs of Zelda or Sonic or just... Um, whatever you guys think would be good, uh, you know, uh, I mean, they're, like, like, I'm not much of a Pokemon fan, I, I'm trying to think of other games, like, uh, I, I could do, like, Kirby, or Crash Bandicoot, or Spyro, I don't know, um, alright, we're gonna fight one of the Brood Brigade members, we're gonna fight one of them. Forget which one it is. Oh yeah, it's the, it's gonna be the, the big stocky one. So, you know, he reminds me of. He reminds me of. Um, let's see, is it Morton Koopa Jr.? Yeah, he reminds me of him a bit. Cause he, Morton has the same like goofy grin and also like the same build and all that. So that's why. I, I'm kind of reminded of him. Um, it's kind of ironic, because, like, this is, like, the um, Odyssey's version of the um, Koopalings. But I'm glad they didn't just do Koopalings again. Th those get old. I like seeing new characters. I hope they include the Brood Brigade in, um, like, future games. Like, honestly, it's sort of disappointing how, like limited the imagination of the new Paper Mario games are. It's like, why not just incorporate, um, you know, characters from, like, you know, some of the newer 3D Mario games if you can't, like, invent original characters for Paper Mario anymore. And even that's just, like, a stupid design flaw f philosophy. Like, why box yourselves in like that? It's just, it's just dumb. I, but... <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. It might have been Miyamoto's idea to make it that way, or... I don't know why they're doing it that way. It's just... Whatever. It is what it is. Um, other YouTubers have talked about that profusely, so I'm not going to be one of those people. Um, I don't want to be, like, a carbon copy of other YouTubers. <laughs> I want to be different. Um, but, uh, yeah, plenty of video ideas. Not just playthroughs, also, like, other stuff, like maybe more vlog-style videos. Um, oh, look, got another triple power moon, guys. That's always a good sign. Um, more moons than Mary, of course. Um, but, anywho, uh, yeah, I, and I've even thought about going back to rant-style videos. For that, I would have to, like, go outdoors to film those, because if I, like, filmed in my apartment, I'm nearly positive that I would get reported just for making loud noises, so I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I mean, I don't want to have to go through that. Oh, man, it sent me back to the beginning. Why? Why to do that? Um... Yeah, so for this playthrough part, since I'm not, since it's like, hasn't been too long since last time, uh, I don't think I have to make this as long as the last part was, um, which was like an hour and ten minutes. I don't think it needs to be that long again. I'm just gonna try to get through as much of this kingdom as I can. Um, 
Nice! We are a f in a freaking tank. Mario's a tank, literally. Um. So yeah, I've thought about like more vlog style videos and even rant videos. Um. My buddy Nelson was saying I should like rant about like more controversial things. Like he suggested I rant about OnlyFans. I don't know if talking about that would be maybe a little bit too risque for my YouTube channel just because I don't know I've always prided myself on being like more of a PG rated YouTube channel um it's just I don't know it's just it's just like I don't think you have to be like overly vulgar to be funny or, or entertaining um that and it's just like you know I I it's it has to do with like my worldview a bit I'm like, I'm a Christian, so it's like, you know, I, I, um, I almost feel like, uh, being overly, like, inappropriate with my humor would, would, it would almost be, like, against what I, uh, believe in, so, yeah. I, I don't want to sound like a stick in the mud, but, I mean, it's true, so, um, but, not trying to sound like holier than thou, you know, like, oh, I'm so much better than everyone else. Like, no, that's not the case at all. Um, I, I definitely have my moments, so, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, uh, what did I want to talk to you guys about? Um, it's cool that I'm playing Odyssey right now, um, in light of the recent news regarding bowser's fury um i just made a whole video all about that and um just everything that they showed off um i i think it's very cool I, again i said this in the video that i made but i think it's cool that you have bowser jr working us alongside mario um i i think it'll be a it'll be a good like um a, a good new dynamic um because i know i like bowser jr as a character um even though he looks a lot like baby bowser um character wise he's you know he's pretty unique like he he strikes me as somewhat of like a an a little evil genius like he's he's not just it's not just because he's mischievous like i He's definitely a lot smarter than Bowser. Like he, I I'm I'd be interested to see a game where it's like, it takes place in the future and you have like Mario Jr. battling Bowser Jr. How cool would that be? Like, uh, I I want to see a fully grown Bowser Jr. Honestly, um, but uh, I don't think Nintendo will ever do that because I don't think they want to age up the Mario characters, which I I understand. Uh, I forget exactly what to do, how to progress. Oh, okay. That. Kind of figured. Um, but yeah, I'll just do this kingdom until... I'll just cover as much of it as I can. Um, then I don't think this has to be a super long part. Like, um... So, yeah. Because, I, I mean, I know people don't watch my videos all the way through anyways. Like, I... I, I was looking at the analytics, and apparently, like, the average watch time is, like, a minute. And most, a lot of my videos are a lot longer than that. So, it, I know. It's it's just like, ah, man, I, I guess there's no point in doing the longer videos. But, I mean, really, that's not what it's all about. I just have fun making the videos and, you know, just doing my personal best on it. I, I try not to, like, you know uh put too much effort into my videos because that can be pretty exhausting but at the same time i i i take i take pride in it um and uh you know i'm usually satisfied with the outcome um sometimes i'll like look back on like some of my videos even like the ones from like 
2015, like, like not even that long ago. Well, I guess 2015 was like six years ago now. Shoot. <laughs> um, but I'll look back on videos from like back then and I'll even, even with that, I'll be like, ah, man, I don't like this as much. But most of the time when I like, uh, produce a new video, I'm, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm like, I'm proud of this. I'm proud of what I have achieved here. Um, but yeah, it's like, and then, you know, when I make new videos, I do it mostly for, like, you know, the really loyal followers. Like, I know some people here just, you know, watch because of the memes. Like, they don't really care that much about, like, uh, you know, the, uh, like, the current meme. You know, they're, it, I, I mean, pretty much most the grand majority of my followers, uh, you know, follow me because of, like, they, they found out about me because of my old videos, but it's, like, you know, I, I appreciate the, like, the followers who, you know, I, I appreciate the followers who, like, respect me no matter what, like, they find me entertaining even when I'm not, like, just getting angry and stuff like that, because, I don't want to, like, force that just for, uh, comedic value, you know? I, I know. Um, but I, I'm not totally opposed to doing more videos like that. It's just, you know, I also just like to be myself. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a grown man. I, I, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, uh, I don't, I don't really feel like uh, s screaming like a, like a child, um, that much anymore, so, but, but I, again, I, I'm not trying to complain too much here, I, I, I'm still open to doing the rant style videos, because those are, those are kind of fun to do, honestly, um, just to, just to put on a character once in a while, um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Because, I mean, if you really think about it, Sammy Classic Sonic Fan, to me, is, like, a character. Um, like, in some ways, it was, that was, like, you know, that was just my personality, too, you know? Um, it's not just, like, something I totally, uh, like, thought up like a genius mastermind, because that's not what I am at all. <laughs> um... Anyways, I'm sure I've talked about this like a thousand times before, so it's not that interesting. Not to me, anyways. Um, all right. <laughs> this reminds me of those sections from Galaxy 2 where you'd like run up with Yoshi when he eats the pepper. Good times. Good times. I'm so glad that they put Galaxy 2 in 3D All-Stars. Obviously, they actually didn't in case... Uh, some of you didn't catch on. Um, I, I wish they had done that. Um, and also, with three All-Stars, it's like, I mean, you know, I, I still think, like, the games individually, they're, they're timeless, you know? Like, I, I'm not complaining about Sunshine or Galaxy or 64, um, at all, but... At the same time, it would have been nice to see those games get, um, a remake, like a full-fledged remake, um, each of them for the Switch. I, I feel like that would have been a more respectable package for $60 than just literally, uh, essentially making them emulations of the versions from the original consoles they were released on. I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, they were upscaled a bit, but it's just like, when you look at the effort that um, Activision put into the Crash and Spyro remake trilogies, and even, um, you know, the, eff the amount of effort that was put into the Battle for Bikini Bottom remake, which I also have. I got that on PS4, and that was my first time uh, actually playing that, um, too. So, um, 
I like it a lot. Maybe that's another idea for like a let's play or whatever. But anyways, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. When you compare it to that, it's like, I get it. It's Nintendo. They're a lot more like, uh, they're not nearly as like forward thinking as those companies are in some ways. All right, this is going to be tough. Get ready for this. Let's do the Odyssey. Let's do this. I am ready. My body is ready. <laughs> oh, I love saying that. Never gets old. Um, but yeah. Uh, I know. Just to conclude what I was saying. Uh, probably should have put more effort into 3D All-Stars, but I still had a good time re-experiencing all those games. Especially, for whatever reason, um, Galaxy, because it had been a long time since I played Galaxy. Because um, my parents, like, sold my Wii um, and the games with it a little while back, which really, uh, you know, aggravated me, because it's like, uh, but I, I cared about that. That was my, that was technically my property. You know, they, um, and, uh, I know, I, it's, it's, uh, good for my collection, and I like playing, uh, you know, games from my childhood from time to time, so it's like, yeah, I don't know, why'd you guys have to do that? <laughs> um, but, it's what, it's, it is what it is, um, it's why I kind of wish that they had put Galaxy 2 in the collection as well, so I could ex re-experience that as well, um, but, uh, yeah, of course, I had a good time playing Sunshine again. Um, uh, even though I had actually played Sunshine recent, uh, recently before that, so, um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, it hadn't been too long since I played Sunshine, but always good to have Sunshine, especially on uh, a new console other than the GameCube. Or, like, you know, an emulation or something like that. I I want to have it on, like, you know, a newer console. Not just, not just for me, but also just, like, you know, I plan to have kids someday. So, it's like, I want them to be able to experience that. And, um, yeah. I mean, I... But I've got a, I've got a little while till I have kids. Uh, I I've yet to, you know, meet that special someone. You know what I mean? It's uh, but I've I've got a little while, and I'm in my early twenties, so I'm not in too big a rush. I mean, there are people who don't like find their, uh, you know lifelong partner until they're like in their 40s like even my parents for instance because uh you know my uh parents got divorced and then uh they remarried uh well my mom did my dad hasn't remarried yet um these are his exact words uh i i i don't uh, he he said uh he doesn't want to ever settle down with someone he doesn't like marriage it's like uh that's good for you, but, uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I know, it's, 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 divorce can be kind of awkward sometimes, because it's like, you know, I, it, it's, it, it almost like puts it into perspective, like, you know, your parents have struggles too, they aren't just like, you know, perfect all the time, uh, because, like, when you're kids, you know, when, when you're a kid, you, like, look up to your parents. You think they're, like, flawless and the ultimate source of, like, morality. Almost like God in a way, but uh, obviously not as, like, not saying your parents are the same as God, but I'm just saying, like, uh, you know, just just their authority over you. That's how you see it, but it's like, they have struggles too, you know? Um, 
But yeah, it's it's almost like in a way my dad is sort of in the same boat as I am, like, um, cause uh, you know I guess we're both bachelors. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I'm not I'm not like trying to make fun of my dad right now or anything. I have a lot of respect for him and my mom, of course, and everything that they have uh, done for me. And um, so yeah, um, and then of course my mom she. She got remarried. So it's like, I'm not even convinced soulmates really exist. Everyone has struggles. Everybody, you know, um, everyone gets surprised at some point in life. At many points in life. Um, anyway, sorry, that got a bit deep. Uh, let's see. I guess we can move on to the next kingdom. And I can do that in the uh, next part, if that's okay with all of you. Uh, we're nearing 60 minutes um thank you if you watched all the way to the end um as i was saying earlier it's like um yeah i i guess i not a whole lot of you watch till the end of the video so if you are one of those people um ha uh comment below and hashtag end of video squad and i like to do a new um sort of thing like, um, uh, I will randomly select one of the comments who have hashtag end of video squad, um, in my next video and, um, answer that comment at the beginning of, uh, the following video. So whenever I make a new video, uh, which you never know, it could be sometime for the next week or it could be a freaking year from now. I know, um, I could do something like that, like answering one of your questions. Just hashtag, again, end of video squad. I actually got the inspiration to do that from a YouTuber known as um, Blackscape. He's like a Dragon Ball YouTuber, and um, I like him a lot. That's where I got the inspiration from. So, uh, looks like next... Woohoo, mama, mama mia! We got Metro Kingdom. That will be fun. We are in for a treat there. I'm definitely saving that for next time, um, because, uh, I don't want to spoil that experience just yet. That best kingdom, top tier. I think almost everyone who's played this game can agree on that. So, um, if this is, if this game is like a new, if this game is like unfamiliar to you, um, can't wait to experience that with you, uh, it will be definitely a treat so thank you all for watching again and uh subscribe for more videos like the video dislike this video if let me think if uh your favorite mario character is um <laughs> trying to think of it stupid Mario character. If your favorite uh, Mario character is the Queen Bee from Super Mario Galaxy. Why is she your favorite? Like, is it because she's thick? Okay, fine, I can respect that. But, I mean, she's also a bee. Not even really that anthropomorphic. So... It's just a weird fixation to have, and, uh, I don't know. I mean, why'd she get a spot in Mario Kart 7, but not Waluigi? <laughs> Anyways, we're done here. Um, thank you. Bye bye